Hi, grace and beautiful people of God. You welcome to my channel. God bless you. How have you been? Oh, good. This is Blessing Here Winner TV, a great channel full of God's word, prayers, prophecies, word of knowledge. Here we have all of the Bible and audio playlist. So subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. You are welcome. God bless you. Today we're going to be looking at the book of Psalm 16 8. God's word is great. It says, I keep my eyes always. On the Lord with him at my right hand I will not be shaken that's what the psalmist said in Psalm 16 8 hallelujah Psalm 16 8 he says I keep my eyes always it says sometimes no always on who on my uncle no on the Lord with him at my right hand I will not be shaken. The psalmist was conscious of God's presence. Today, are you conscious of God's presence? Do you know God is always with you? Do you know that God is everywhere? Do you know that God is always with you? Why are you shaking? The psalmist said, I will not be shaken. Why are you shaking? I come to tell you today in this video, do not be shaken. Be bold as a lion because the Lord is with you no matter what comes your way don't be shaking be conscious of God's presence be conscious of who you are in Christ as a Christian be conscious don't be shaking there are some people every little thing shakes them what are some people nothing shakes them why the knowledge between those two the other one does not know that God is with him the other one knows that God is with him Hallelujah. That's the difference, the knowledge. The psalmist knew that God was with him and he said, I will not be shaking. Today, do you know that God is with you? If you're his child, why are you shaking? Have any little thing? Why do you shake? You ought not to be shaking, no matter what comes your way. When COVID came, many were shaking. And that can cause fear. And fear is no good. Hallelujah. And fear alone can kill. But there are some people that were not shaking. Why? Not because they had the medicine at that time, but because they put their trust in God and said, God is with me. I will not be shaking. But I tell you, do not be shaking. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that you become conscious that God is always with you, that you have that boldness to stand at every situation and not to be shaking in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that every case you may go through in life, you will remember that God is with you and you will not fear in Jesus' name. And God will definitely deliver you and help you and bring you out of every case in life. None of them will drown you. None of them will drown you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed and lifted. God bless you richly. If you are not born again today, what are you waiting for? Say after me, prayer of salvation, and I will see you next time. Bye. God bless you. If you are not yet born again, what are you waiting for? To be born again is the best thing that can happen to anyone on earth. I want to give your life to Christ today. Jesus Christ is real. It's not a main story as some people say. For example, you are here today on earth. If Christ tarries in a million years to come, or let us even say 500 years to come, people may doubt your existence because it's long ago. Do you know that in a hundred years to come, even let's say just 200 years to come, some people will not know you, you, you yourself were you, were, you, were you on this earth. The same way, Christ came many years ago. It's not a story. Even the historians of years and years ago that wrote history book, they were not, they were not Christians, they were not preaching, they were not selling anything, they were writing history. They mentioned that somebody called Christ came and that he did miracles and the people that followed him were called Christians. That means it's true. It's not a mere story. Christ came, God sent him to come and save the world. If you are not born again today, you'll be doubting the, 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 the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be doubting if there is God. If there is no God, who made the heavens and the earth? Who made the stars? Can a scientist make it? They cannot. Can you make it? There is God. Therefore, today, give your life to Christ. Say this prayer after me with all your heart. Mean it. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe you came and died for me. You were buried on the third day 
He was up again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I am now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. I appreciate what you have done for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If this prayer has been said by you, you are not born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church and go and buy a Bible for yourself so you can study your Bible and know God for yourself. Very important. Pray all the time. Talk to God. You will start hearing God talking back to you. Hallelujah. Build that relationship with God and may you be filled with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel to know more about God. Touch the bell. Like this video. God bless you. Bye.